Hey, this is Toby Ryan, and I'm going to show you how to sample in GarageBand. The first thing we're going to do is create a new track. Select your software instrument and create. On the right side, you'll see a few options. Select sound effects, and then select one of these. I'm going to choose applause and laughter. You can choose any of them. We're just going to make our own. Select Save Instrument and name it. Once you've created your own, now we can drag on our audio samples. I have one pre-made called Kick and Ride. Go ahead and drag in your own and drag and drop it in. Now if you don't actually have something to use, you can use iTunes Music from your media browser, bottom right hand corner here. Select iTunes, click and drag in a song, and we can chop it up from there. For now, I'm going to use this. In the bottom left hand corner, you'll see a slider. Go ahead and slide that to the right. It helps you see the waveforms a little better. drag your guide here and we're going to chop it up or split rather is what it's called in GarageBand. Go up to edit in the menu down to split. The hotkey for that is command T and then back up to edit and add to loop library. I'm going to name this something simple here. You can use your instrument descriptors or your mood descriptors to categorize your samples as you start to build your own sample library and it helps you find things easier. But I'm going to bypass all that for right now. Just name it something simple and create. And as it loads, it may take a few seconds here. And to find our loop, it'll be in the loop browser in the bottom right hand corner. Select that and then select your middle option up at the top so you get all these buttons and at the very bottom you'll see a search type in the name of your sample and it should pop up now select your software instrument we just made and up in the menus where it says window scroll down to musical typing where the hotkey is shift command K And in your musical typing, bottom left hand corner, you'll see a little thing called details. Make sure that is open, because then it shows you what all the keys are assigned to. You can change this by clicking the Z or the X on the keyboard to where they're all empty, so you don't actually replace over these unless you want to. For now, I'm going to make them all empty and drag in my kick. It's as simple as clicking and dragging. Just drop it on a key. I'm going to use letter A. And my kick is ready. And drag it on a key. There you go. That's sampling.